Hello everybody, I'm Patrick, and today I'm feeling a bit nostalgic, so I decided to share with you how I got my start in martial arts. Now it all started back when I was 12 years old, I had just entered the 6th grade, and I was very unathletic. <laughs> Don't know if you could tell. And my only previous experience with any sort of martial art was a karate class when I was around 7 or 8 years old. I only stuck with that for about 3 months. So I didn't really have much or any experience in anything involving martial arts. I did exercise, but not very much. I did 30 push-ups every day, and that was my workout routine. Now, since this was the start of middle school, a lot of kids try to reinvent themselves around this age, mostly trying to be badasses, in my experience. And I was a prime easy target for people to try and make that claim to. You know, you kick someone's ass, you're a badass. So everyone was kind of coming to beat the shit out of me. For around the first three or four months, I was able to avoid this, but you know, eventually I got caught. <laughs> uh, one day I was going to the bathroom in the middle of class and two of my other classmates also asked to use the bathroom. So she sent all three of us out with the hall pass together. And when we were right next to the bathrooms um, in a corner where no one could see us, they both decided to try and beat the shit out of me right then and there. I don't know why I use the word try. They succeeded. <laughs> what happened was is they pushed me up against a locker and they just started both punching me at the same time. And one was to one side of me and one was to the other side. And I stood there and I just tried to swing back like each fist to a designated person like that. I don't know if I hurt them at all or, or if they just got bored. But either way, they decided to fuck off and go back to class. And I had like bruises all over my face. And uh, I don't remember if I was bleeding anywhere. I don't think I was. I wasn't much of a bleeder. But I bruised pretty good. And they went back to the classroom ahead of me and then I came back to class and my teacher asked me what happened and I said I fell because, you know, I didn't want to be a snitch. Uh, really stupid, I know, but, you know, way things were back then. And so what happened, I remember when I came home from school, uh, my grandfather was sitting in his chair in the living room and I was just trying to be real quick and turn a corner and go upstairs uh, to my bedroom. But uh, he immediately saw me and he was like, Come here. <laughs> and, and, you know, I turned and faced him and I and he saw me and he was like, what happened to you? And I was like, I got beat up at school by two kids. And he's like, and, you know, he's from a different time. So he was like, well, did you fight back? And I was like, yeah, but I didn't win. And he was just like, that's it. You're going to learn boxing. And then he immediately w leaned into me and whispered like, don't tell your grandmother. <laughs> and... Uh, that was it. Uh, I forget if it was that day or the next day, he went out and he bought equipment for us to use to train. He bought one of those 100 pound barbell sets, a pair of, uh, boxing gloves and a pair of mitts for him to wear for me to punch. I remember we started with strength training first and then moved on to technique second. And so my routine that I had to do every day that we trained was three sets of 10 for every exercise with the barbell. I had to do barbell curls, overhead press, a floor press, because we didn't have a bench, and a hack squat. And for those of you who don't know what a hack squat is, it's like a deadlift, but the bar is behind your legs rather than in front. And then after I finished all those weightlifting exercises, I had to do four sets of 20 of push-ups and sit-ups. And then after all my strength training was done, we would get into technique. And he would put on the mitts, and I would put on the gloves, and, you know, we'd practice punching. And, you know, our training wasn't anything spectacular or whatever. In fact, he didn't teach me very much. Uh, but what he did teach me, he wanted to make sure that I perfected. And I remember the techniques that he taught me were the jab, the cross, head movement, the rear naked choke and how to scramble back to my feet in case anyone took me to the ground or I lost my footing or whatever. 
And those were the only techniques that he taught me, but we worked them every day. <laughs> and I'll never forget the day we started incorporating head movement. He was holding up the pads and he's like, all right, so after you punch, I'm going to swing and you're going to duck, okay? And I was like, yeah. And he, and I punched and he went, and he sm cause I was, I'm a slow learner. And he just smacked me in the fucking face. And I was like, ah! And he's like, you didn't duck. Taught me to duck real quick. <laughs> and we trained like this every day for two to two and a half months until finally what happened is uh, my grandfather was holding the mitts and he was like, and he always taught me to punch with power, as much power as possible um, to try and break people's faces. And so he held up one of the mitts for the cross and he was like, you know, kick as hard as you can, like you always did. And I threw the punch and I threw it as hard as I could. And I remember right after it hit, he was just like, ah, and he reeled over and he grabbed his shoulder in pain. And he was like, oh, all right, that's, that's enough training for today, you know. Good work though. And what wound up happening was due to that shoulder injury, we didn't train the next day or the day after that. And I was kind of starting to, uh, you know, miss it. I, I loved training with him. So the fact that we weren't doing it was kind of disappointing to me at the time. Because he would always just say, tomorrow, tomorrow, you know, I just got to let that shoulder heal up. Well, then what happened was, is a week later, his shoulder still hurt. And he's like, damn, what the hell happened? And so he went to the doctor and the doctor x-rayed his shoulder. And he's like, uh, you fractured your shoulder. And he was like, what, really? And he, and he was like, the doctor's like, yeah, you got to start taking it easier because you're getting older. And so unfortunately due to that, we were never able to train again. Now I'm not sitting up here trying to brag that I broke my grandfather's shoulder. You know, it probably had more to do with him getting old than me getting strong. But still, that's what ended our training. And you know, I just kept up with the same exercises he taught me every day until around a couple weeks after our training together had ended, I was sitting in class and the teacher had left the room. And uh, one of the kids that we had in class was really big. He had to have been like 5'11 or 6 feet tall. And I would have to place him at like either just under or just over 200 pounds. And he came over and he immediately started talking shit to me. I don't know if he was actually going to beat me up or whatever. But he was, you know, really just laying into me, insulting me and shit. And I had just kind of had enough. So I sheepishly stood up and I... It was very shaky, very visibly nervous. And, you know, he started talking shit on that. And what I did was, is I wound up, and like my grandfather taught me, I punched him with my cross as physically hard as I could in his arm. And he just immediately was like, ah, oh, ah, oh, and backed down and walked away because I guess he was all show. And no substance. <laughs> and after that day, I just had the fighting bug. And I loved to train in martial arts and weightlifting and calisthenics. I just loved it all. And I owed all that to my grandfather. Well, guys, that has been my video on how I got started in martial arts. If you like it, please leave a comment down below. And also, if you are currently training or looking to get started training, please comment down below as well. I'd love to read your stories on how you guys also got started in martial arts or are looking to get started and why. Well, guys, I'm Patrick, and I'll see you next time.